Files is a file manager app that describes itself as a modern file manager that pushes the boundaries of the platform. Now, what that actually entails is that it is a file manager for Windows 11 that has tabs and tags and other quality of life features that you might have wanted. Now, you can install this two ways. You can actually download this as a app package from Windows uh, from the uh, GitHub Releases tab, or you can download it off of the Windows Store. Now, I already have the Windows Store right here, or the Windows Store version one right here, and I got to say I think it is really nice when it comes to the tabs. Um, there's the tabs there. You can go to the settings here, you can actually go to the experimental settings and set it as your default file explorer and enable the file tags. Now let's go ahead and just set it as the default file explorer. As you can see, we can show our desktop icons. We're going to make a new folder here and when we double click on it, it'll open it in the new file explorer rather than our current one. It is a very great file manager and I would absolutely recommend that you try it out. Now let's say you wanted to go back to the default file manager. So you can't do that from the settings itself as you can see. And in fact you can't even, uh, it doesn't revert to this when you uninstall it. So what you're actually going to want to do is find the GitHub issue for this don't restore file explorer merging with you want to find the github issue 7354 and I'm actually going to put this in the description um, we're going to download this zip file and we're going to put it on our desktop so I'm going to actually hide my desktop icons again we're going to go to our regular file manager and we're just going to put the registry keys on our desktop all we have to do to unset it as the default is to double click on this with a right click open, run, press yes. It's going to ask us if we want to do this because this is going to be editing values in our registry. And when we go back to our desktop and we double click on a folder, you will see that it will use our regular default out of the box file manager. So I hope that was of help to you. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you would like a more full and in-depth review of this file manager, I might make one in the future. But with that being said, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Sometimes I want to pass